out this time. Hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of I Often Wonder. I'm your girl, Black Baba Watch. Yes. I come more in the building. And of course. I got a rep where I'm from. I got a rep where I'm from. I'm from the murder cap. Yeah, what's up? It's that nigga. 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 I'm still, still that nigga. Nigga. Uh. uh. <laughs> Nigga! <laughs> I'm still that nigga! <laughs> Can y'all tell what today is? Foolery! Time, time foolery! Time foolery! Foolery! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you gave your mic a whole lot of hot spit. Hot breath. <laughs> It'll dry up. Oh, wow. <laughs> and um, this is why we have our own personal microphone. He's like, huh, huh, look at that dungeon dry <laughs> again. It'll dry up. It'll dry up. Anyway, before we get into It's like she did last night. Oh, God. All right, before he goes any further into tomfoolery, <laughs> um, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification, leave us a comment on your your favorite video or videos sure yeah man and, then, and make sure you got you make sure you have Facebook, subscribed to all Instagram, our social media platforms every Twitter, podcast platform that you Snapchat, can think of we are there patreon subscribe subscribe spotify <laughs> yeah too Yes, YouTube. <laughs> right, every last one radio. of them. Make sure you're part of the Anchor. Patreon page so you can get we behind everywhere. the scenes access with the gang, 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 gang. Also, make sure you get the merch. My merch. My merch. My merch. Yo, this My hoodie merch. is mad dope. My merch. Yo, I'm definitely getting a whole different. Yo, I got the green one. It's mad comfortable. The crazy thing was, I didn't expect to be like. 62 all day. Yeah, like, why is it like, cold outside? So I got, like, the joggers on, and I got the hoodie. Like, I got a wife beat on underneath, and I'm comfortable as well. Right, it's, right. It's, and I'm high as a bitch. So, I said, I that's told. That's another thing. <laughs> I told, I told. Trifecta. Oh, right. Uh, right. He's real comfortable right now. I told intern Alex, I said, bitch. why is it so freaking cold? He going to turn around talking about, it feels good. What? No, Negro, wait a minute. No. It's cold. I got a skirt and a t-shirt on. I was not prepared for this. How was, how, how was you cold? Like, we got something to, like, keep us warm. He, how he... How he ain't cold with I, I'm trying that to, boy frail. Yeah. That boy. I told him while we were eating lunch, <laughs> I was like, he was breath like, and britches. I said, I said, Alex, you just real well, that's, skinny. That's, that's the only motherfucker I know that that can choke on a Fruit Loop. Listen, <laughs> but I'm talking about like put I, it over him. But that's what I said. <laughs> I told Alex, I said, Alex, you just skinny. Asphyxiation from a Fruit Loop. <laughs> he said, I'm skinny, but I'm not skinny. I said, Alex, where? How are you skinny but not skinny? So I told him to move his hands right because uh. he had his hands in front of him. I did just like this, like a two four four. four. Boom! Like nigga, you skinny. <laughs> Skin, Skin tea. tea. Your thighs don't even touch together, nigga. <laughs> All right, nigga. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry. You ain't gotta worry about chafing, nigga. <laughs> the wind probably blow through your leg. <laughs> I'm gonna have we both. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, if his legs like start smacking together, they spark like right. a match. <laughs> nigga, you stay away from California. California. <laughs> No, no side side of party. Party. Don't you party Cause you gonna start a wildfire Don't, <laughs> don't you do it We trying to put out forest fires Oh damn you, you joining in on a movie <laughs> I, see, I see you See you trying to low key jumped, nah, It jumped in on, nah, on me Oh so the bug jumped on me <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That nigga put on a turn He like an uncircumcised dick <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and wrap this episode right. I took a whole headphones off. Oh. I 
done took my whole headphones off. I done moved away from from the area. My bad, my bad. Oh, I was not. <laughs> you cannot do that after we all just ate. Like I can't laugh like that, bro. He said if my nigga put on a turtleneck, he looked like a uh, circus. Poor Alex. <laughs> Poor Alex. <laughs> Don't worry, I have on there. <laughs> what is his response? It's for the foreskin back. Ah! <laughs> I'm so glad he can laugh with us. Oh, if you want, I know y'all can't ever see intern Alex because if you're watching us on YouTube, he is uh, on the other side working on the equipment. <laughs> but don't worry, if you sign up a part of our Patreon page, I just got the Snapchat of a uh, snapshot of his response and how he how we, he reacted to that comment. That one uh, that took all of us out. Jesus, oh, as y'all can see, there is not a real topic for us today. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just got. I gotta give him his props there. A joke is a joke, and that was a dang good one. Damn. I cannot. Oh, Jesus. So, oh. I gotta um, stop and give me a heart attack. No, don't. nigga, oh, no, nigga, oh. Listen, just because you is I don't want to die on top of it, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> someone, anyone, please. <laughs> If you are please somewhat slide in, please attractive, slide in, that DMs. Slide like in his DMs down <laughs> so he can leave hey. us alone. I think my nigga's at that point. He just need her to breathe right, right. now. <laughs> hey, hey, just blow on it, baby. Just blow on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a heartbreak? <laughs> You'll do. <laughs> it's fake. It's all right. I'll rejuvenate you. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby. I cannot. This, this is what we do every oh, once in a God. while. Y'all get to just kind of right. shoot the breeze with us. And that's what today is. But I did want to ask the fella something. What's up? Um, it is, it's kind of a trending topic. All right. You know, I mentioned a couple. Dust is getting on my nerve. I'm sorry. Months back. I, dust always gets on your nerve. It's probably that dust you didn't fart it out. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to know what that's I did, about. I did finish eating, so give me a minute. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I am kind of stuff. No. <laughs> He had, fried, mugger, he had fried rice. Talk, this mugger like we just hot boxing here. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not that kind of hot box. No. Yeah. That's like, that great. Like, skunk yeah. Cold <laughs> cl- 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 to dough, Alex. Skunk weed. We ain't gonna talk about shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really had a topic. Like, oh, go, oh, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, ahead. so a couple months ago, remember uh-huh. I told you guys Carly B and Megan Thee Stallion was coming out with an album. Okay. They dropped their first single, which was WAP. Right. Which has blown up. WAP? Um, WAP? WAP. Is it WAP or WAP? I don't like it. People say both. So. It's both, you know. Either a WAP way. Is, a, is a racial slur. Yeah, I, I know that. Know. Yeah, so we, we, we know. had to say WAP. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, we we you know, know this. I always say WAP. Because I say WAP, they might think it's a, a trigger to call me nigga. Yeah, and I don't know. That's what that means. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Hey, hey, I still seen videos, of motherfuckers using that word and getting dropped right, right. after. Out. <laughs> don't become a victim. Right. Don't, don't do, do that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also serious note, the song talks about. Um, there are a couple points I wanted to bring up. Okay, in the song. First of all, shout out to Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. There's more than enough. There's It gives you that good feel. But one thing that I had to say when we first came out, I think me and you had talked about it maybe. Um, I was like, that song, you can't play it on the radio. Because it's, I got the ring and pop, pop. No, because all that is blank. But isn't, the video, isn't, the, isn't the video the radio version though? Think so. It's not. I don't I'm trying to think how the words go. Either way, well, go ahead. It right. still isn't. It, well, you know, the edited version it never makes sense like the regular version. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It just doesn't. But well, it's the number one. Song. It really is the number one song, which bothers me because that's for another music edition. And well, trust me, stay tuned because I don't know what's happened to music. Mm. Moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, but okay, so secondly, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> he took his hat off. You're a little late. He always that one late nigga look to the party. Nigga, I gotta take these headphones off. I can't mess my hat up, nigga. Oh my gosh, oh. he had a little hat on. Um, 
But the second thing I wanted to bring up is in that line, and for those that follow me on my personal TikTok, we have our Often Wonder TikTok, and then I have one myself. Um, I made a video, and it said in the video, you know, women, mainly talking to Mm y'all, that you have to have more than just a WAP, you know, because that's not all now. Don't get me granted, because I know what these two about to say. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I know what he about to say. Right. That that can't be the only thing that keeps a man. Okay? Now, I might. It's a good conversation starter, though. Yeah. That's why I worded it the way I worded it. That is exactly why. That's why I worded it the way I worded it. So, I made that video. Um... And I said how I, I didn't like how, how Cardi's uh, line was because she's like, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I can show you how I got that ring. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 That's how you got the ring. So now that brings me to my question of how do you guys feel that Cardi B and Offset are getting divorced? So you got that ring, but baby, you couldn't keep that ring. Bet that pussy ain't that wet now, is it now? That wet, wet. <laughs> it that so, wet, wet. It ain't so. <laughs> I don't think it is. It ain't so wet ass now. I think, it? see, here's, I mean, it's so much to dig out of that. You know right. what I'm saying? Because if you look at it just on the, the verse on its merit, you know. It sound like she a lazy hoe. <clears throat> no, I won't go say that. No, that, no that's but I'm saying, no, 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 I'm saying, saying, I'm saying, says that she's a lazy hoe. Okay, no, she no, basically say, just called herself a lazy hoe. Let bro. me say it from this standpoint. I mean, the fact when you're looking at it from a, a rap point of view, you know, from a rap song, a rap lyric. Most time we, we you no, know, I'm saying we like I'm a rapper, but most time we, um, you know, we're, um, rap, you just throwing verses together. You know what I'm saying? Just a line, just a line. So it's a catchy line, but I don't think. She really meant it, and the fact she ain't doing nothing. I mean, like I don't know her personally. I don't. Of course, none of us do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm saying I don't. Yeah. I don't think we'd be in a different situation. I'm about right. say, I don't think this conversation would really be happening if we really knew. New. Uh, shit, I would still say. The I same mean, thing. we would. But, <laughs> I mean, it would be. I but, think it'd be a. But then at the argument. same, t- at the same time, you're just talking about um, there's a wop, and that's it. Then no, yeah, it takes more to sustain any relationship, which is sex. <coughs> Excuse me, very true. You know what I'm saying? Now, good sex will keep you longer because that's toxic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's necessary. That don't mean it's a good relationship. Yeah. It's just based on sex. Yeah. That's just physical shit. It's physical, right. That's lust. And, and even if it is good, it doesn't mean that he won't or she won't go somewhere else. Right. True. You know what I'm saying? So, what keeps a relationship is, you know, other things. You know, being able to have a good conversation. Right. Being able to. You know, have things in common, being able to do different things that makes you connected. You know what I'm saying? Those connections will keep you there. It ain't really about the sex because she going to get old and then she can't Gravity. Her, you know, gravity. Her looks ain't there anymore. Sure. So and then, that's <coughs> and then, you know, younger and younger to and then years. women stop having sex before men do. Yeah, that's true. So then, you know what I'm saying? What's going to make him not go astray if he can't sad, pleasure himself? It's the fact, okay, now she, she's more than just sex. She's my friend. Right. You know, she's someone I, I well, I don't want to say care about because I'm not saying that I also don't care about her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I won't go as far as that. What I'm saying is that it's, it's more to it than just sex. And to me, based on sex, is a young person's point of view. That's something like, you know, in your teen, high school, maybe early 20s. In high school. Shit. You haven't matured yet. <clears throat> but just. Well, you know, nowadays you still find men in their thirties and forties who got that same mentality. Well, see, I mean, I think you no, know, I think those people is on that. What I mean by that, that's what they want. I'm talking about people that are actually trying to build a relationship, right? You know what I'm saying? Like people that just that's what they on. That's a whole different conversation based on people who's going in trying to looking for a, looking for a relationship, but saying but placing sex on a pedestal. Yeah, right. I think Makes that's sense. that that's what's different. You I know, mean, I mean, I. Ain't. I ain't even surprised that they're getting a divorce. I mean, let's, let's just call it what it is. But I did mean, you think that they would get a divorce at this point? Because if you think about it, um, we've gone through the whole thing with Offset cheating, him apologizing on stage, bringing that out, outrageous you know, cake or whatever it was, flowers. Mm-hmm. Um, you got the out of wedlock baby rumors, you know, all of that. Uh. <laughs> 
Why I don't know why people put stock into all these celebrity relationships. Oh, like, I, it, I think that's a whole nother. That's another discussion. Right that's, there. that's a whole nother. That's, <laughs> that's a whole, whole nother discussion right there. That's Look, a whole nother episode. I'm just saying, she she pretty much just called herself a lazy hoe. Well, I'm not saying that. Like, but how, I mean, no, but you no, got, no, hold on, hold oh, go ahead. I'm not just saying that. Like, not, no, not in no disrespect. I know what you mean. I'm just saying, like, you know, if I don't cook it clean. But I could show you how I got the ring. You you basically are kind of glorifying that you are just a physical vessel, right? And don't yep. don't get me wrong, like you fine and all, Cardi, but like you gotta look. I, I'm a, I'm a thicker nigga, so <laughs> you know um, I cook. But at the same time, I don't like I don't like to cook all the time. So if you can't, like, what is we talking about? Like, like you got to be more than to be able to order some, just Uber, some, like, um, some um, like, I'm just saying, DoorDash or something. That part, and you can't better not be using my card. To yeah, do I, look, I <clears throat> look together. I'm pretty sure they got the money just to be comfortable as hell right. and do whatever. And they got maids and people that could, you know, they can create jobs and they take got, care of that stuff. They got to though, but have you? Because have you seen the size of Carly's nails? She can't do. N- I'm surprised she picks up culture and is able to deal with culture as long as her nails are. Her nails, bro, literally look like this on her head. <laughs> like Wolverine up in this Like, what the heck are you doing? Like Cardi B, an X-Man. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I don't know. I think for, if you want to, yeah, I'm going to keep it 100. I think all that shit is all show. I don't think she really liked that. That's what I'm going to say. I got to separate the art on, from, from the person. I'm just saying, like, once that camera cut off, I think some of that, that, on camera might carry over just a little bit. Of course. But I, no. Oh, well, here's the thing. <clears throat> now, like I, like I said, we don't know what's behind the scenes. Yeah. Right. But, like, even when you see her, like, doing her um, uh, IG or anything you know, on her social media thing, she she's always dealing with her child. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, like, what you expect a mom to do. Oh, yeah. So I think, like I was trying to say earlier, is that, you know, I think some of it is just art. You know, she expressing art this is what sells. I know what sells. This how this how I get my bag. And since this is what sells, this is what I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna find some catchy lines hey. for this genre to make this money. Now there's an argument to be made about, you know, selling that kind of genre. But on what we're talking about, so we talking about relationships. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to separate the two, Art and Cardi B. Tell me, tell me her 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 uh, her hustle is her hustle crazy. <clears throat> so check this out. So you you got the the, the number one song right. on the Billboard. Right, it's very controversial. Whether you you want to admit it or not, it's mm-hmm. a controversial. It's controversial yeah. People talk about it. Right. Yeah. You got this going on with her. Right. But. I mean, she's been getting in Twitter beats with Candace Owens. Mm-hmm. She's been having political meetings with what Joe we Biden. All, what do we all Yo, say? I'm just saying, her spotlight is kind of popping right now. Right. We, we And we always Negative say, or positive. It's right. Publicity Every, is always publicity. And publicity mm-hmm. is getting paid big money right now. It's just like we said. That's what I'm saying. She's playing her motherfucking part. That's right. why I, I, I don't put no stock into none of this shit. I think she's playing her part. She's getting her bread, and whether this whole relationship was either real or not, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't care, and I don't think she really did either. Her name is popping. It's been popping for a good what five, six, seven years. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. probably longer than that. <coughs> well, within probably the last. That. Well, I'm saying within the last three years, it's really been hot. Not that it wasn't popping then, but now it's like really, really hot. I was in the last last three to four years. You yes, know what's crazy? Her clout has gone all she, the way up. But she don't have. She doesn't even have to put out decent music. I don't know. She I mean, <coughs> well, her, her, who, her shit's. But who popping. does? I, but that's what I'm saying. That, but that goes back. That goes <laughs> back to what saying. I said at I mean, the beginning. The what ones, has happened to music? Look, the ones, the ones that actually put out good music. I'm not getting the credit one, for. I'm it. like no name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Her music, I like her music. I, you I know love what I'm her music, but, but what it does, it's not really is, selling like that. But, but here's my bring bring it back. She's, well, I don't know your numbers. I'm just saying. No, but I, <laughs> what I'm saying is like she's hitting that that cultural influencer right moment right, and whether people like her or don't, I really could care less about her music just mm-hmm. because it's like I'm over. I'm over that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm what over I'm hot girl summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm there was no summer. Right. So I mean she's 
She's got a formula. It's working. She's got to ride into it. Don't work no more. Unless she got Look, to be inventor. So. I'm just saying her her wave been, her wave has been big mm-hmm. for a good minute. Right. And I'm not gonna knock her hustle for that. I mean, I salute that. And shit. Right. If I say because I would have to also say that her system not only works because when you think about who was the next person that was going to take her spot, Megan Thee Stallion. Mm-hmm. So what smarter person? Than to do an album the with the collab. person right. that's about to take your spot, right? So that way, every time she get blown up, they ain't got no choice but to listen to you. So you riding her, a little bit of her way while creating your own lane at the same time, it right? Went, it went from Nikki to Cardi, yep. Mm-hmm. Cardi to Meg, yep. right? Right. Who knows? Who knows what? The, now, don't don't get me wrong, y'all. We <clears> love <throat> uh, we love music. We have nothing against. Cardi. I mean, I like no, Cardi B. I, like, I mean, I, mean, I like. I want me to say it like this. I like. What I seen as far as how she handles her child. Yes. I have much respect for that kind of thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As a black woman, and in fact, I see her always with her child doing things. I got respect for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really get off into her music like that. You know, if I see something, okay, that's Well, that's her me. job. Right. I'm just. You said as a mom? No, no. I'm about to, you're talking about the no, music. Her being a mom is, is being a mom. Right. I'm saying this whole music and all this yeah. shit, that's, that's her, her job. job. Right, that's her job. And right, that's right. how I'm seeing it, and that's how I think she's working it. And that's how she should. Yeah. I mean, you know, I ain't not going to hustle. No. I think I think, I think, think the problem is, so I heard, like, some of the people, like, um, Dr. Um, Boris um, Watkins talking about, you know, talking about Cardi B and her hustling, what it's doing to the youth and all that kind of stuff, you know, her music and what it's doing for, to the youth. But... We as parents play a part of that too. Thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not saying that there's there's a, a a balance in there somewhere where you know putting too much of that stuff out. You know what I'm saying? There's no other nothing else out to reach for. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But if you have a good balance of music out there, you can, you know you, you explain to your child mm-hmm. what this about. This is art. This is her job. And then I would show her. See, look at this is Cardi B with her child. Right. This is who Cardi B is. You know what I'm saying? It's no different. Talk to your children that way. Yeah. And I think it's a whole different they they will see it in a whole different way than I want to be like Cardi B. I want to be I want to be that character right. bro, bro, of Cardi B. It's no different from having fictional books right. and, and non fictional. Right. It's right. no different. It's just the character trip. Exactly. Mm, that's the and, that, and that and you hit it right on the head. That's when the parent has to step in and be like, yo, this is fictional. Right. This is make believe. Right. This isn't reality. Right. And I think I think the problem is we, if we do talk to our children, we wait till it's too late. Yeah. Are, or, you know. It's because people are afraid. Right. I don't know why. It's just, you got to talk to and your it, children. And it's not only You know your afraid. kids. You know what they can accept at certain ages. You give it to them at yeah. that age level. You know. And then as they get older, you know, you reinforce some things and reinforce some things until they get to the age where you know it is in their head. Mm-hmm. You know. Now, you can't say it's going to be 100% correct because uh-huh. no, there's nothing that's going to be 100% when it comes to raising kids. Yeah. But in general, that's that's how you attack that. You know what I'm You let these people produce their art. You know, that's art. Yeah. I mean, when when I was coming up, they was talking about uh, the gangster rap. Yeah. You know. Oh, my God. You can't really start that gangster rap. You're going to be out here killing people. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. It's art. It's art. Yeah. It's all about... Knowing right. your boundaries mm-hmm. And I think that's the other thing Like parents put so much off Or not parents But other people put so much stuff off On the world and everything But you're What are you exposing your children to? Right yeah. What are you exposing them to To make them be able to know All the songs of WAP But don't know the ABCs mm-hmm. <laughs> Now whose fault is that? Cardi B or the parents? Right I'm just saying Or you know Dancing is perfectly fine But why does my two year old know how to twerk better than a twenty four year old and don't know how to tie their right. shoes? Right. Hey, that's. F- I'm just saying. Hey, that's a funny segue because I wanted to talk about that shit. Like, have y'all seen that shit on Netflix, Cuties? Oh, I heard about no. it. I you just it. no. You pretty much just talk. I heard about it, but oh, I'm gonna let you go ahead. Go ahead, say it, go ahead. Well, no, it's 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 um as as a as a father of. Two girls is it's kind of um I'm I'm perturbed because it's it's a good it's a good generalization of just how society is pretty much sexualizing k- 
kids at an earlier right. age. Yeah. Right. Yep. And but, oh, man, it and honestly, it, that kind of you can easily say that kind of plays into how society looks at pedophilia. Mm. Because I mean, there's there's certain I mean there's especially like the whole Epstein shit. Like, mm-hmm. You're talking about secret societies that treating it like it's nothing. But if you go back in history, they was doing shit yeah. like that. Right. So it's like right. pretty much it's just history, you know, repeating, repeating yeah. itself right. and manifesting from old shit that's reviving or it probably never left. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, went into deeper holes and then it's coming back in 2020 and just creeping his head up even more. So I don't know. Like this, this shit's getting crazy. Well, let me, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna preface my statement saying I didn't see the movie. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it but either. But I've seen from what I from from what I've seen and from what I read and from what I've been seeing on both sides of the argument, the whole purpose of the movie was to show the horrors of pedophilia. Yeah, it wasn't about because like you know some people are arguing say, oh my god they make this movie blah blah blah. But I think like the filmmaker wasn't glorifying yeah. pedophilia. It was trying to show the horrors of pedophilia. Yeah. And how the society is. And I think a lot and most of the people that who were critiquing it on the negative side haven't seen the movie. Well, cause and that's what I think of was kind of be like one of my points. I don't think nobody like because, you know, everybody gets all the information off of social media right, right now. And, right. and that's mm-hmm. Facebook's everybody's, for some reason, their news. I don't get it. <laughs> right. Um, so they're not really, you know, going in depth about the movie. I, I had to peep it out because it was being talked about so much. Right. And and it's crazy because I'm like, damn, man. Like, like, all this shit is, like, I wouldn't have thought about it like that. Mm-hmm. As in it was ways to just... I guess numb generalizing sex we we at a younger age. Right. Because I mean <sighs> But not to cut you off, let me I wanna bring this point up too while I'm thinking about it. Even the fact that if you look at the the French um billboard of it, you know, the picture of the um it just shows a bunch of fully clothed girls mm-hmm. having fun. Oh yeah. yeah. The American version shows them half naked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that just shows you where our culture is as an American culture. We're so hyperly sexual. Mm-hmm. And then even on top of that, if you go into other countries, sex is not a big deal to them. Nope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have billboards with naked people and people don't even pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. That would cause every type of car but, crash. But you you drive down 40, you see that niggas be like, oh. you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. And then, or, down, and then you have the other half. Trying to protest and take it down. Yeah. yeah. Where, like, in other countries, like, okay, it's no big deal. And they keep it moving, you know, because they're, the way they feel about sex is totally different than the way I, Western so culture pig- feel about sex. So, like piggyback off that. of that, mm-hmm. whose fault is that? Is Ooh. it, is it, that's a good one. Is it, um, why, why is it, it seems like sex and just nudity in general, in general, pornography and shit like that, it still seems so taboo in 2020, but yet, I mean, pornography industry is a billion right. dollar industry. Right. Um, I mean, what what TV network hasn't done some kind of sexual sex scene? Right. Right. I mean, what? Well, I think here's it's, the it's, thing. it's ingrained in our society, it's, but yet it seems so taboo. It's a it's a it's a societal problem. It's a individual issue that each individual need to deal with far as their individual kids. Mm-hmm. Um, who um, wife, husband, whatever. But the problem is, when you make something taboo, it makes a desire for that to go up. Mm. Right. And I think the fact that that we the way we deal with sex, making it so taboo, is why the industry the way it is. Because like, you know, it's such a taboo thing. Well, let's see why it's taboo. Let's let's get, give me more of that. You know, it's more desire because it's such a it's a taboo thing. And it's crazy. It's just, you know what I'm saying? But, but if it's we, such a humanistic. Feeling. Right, it is. It's it like is, everyone had these urges. Everyone, you know, you you get in the shower. You don't get in the shower with your clothes on. 
Most right. time, you know, if you if you buy yourself or you, or if you with your mate or what, and your husband, wife, whatever, you walk around the house naked. Naked. You know what I'm saying? It's just a natural thing. Straight Adam and Eve. In you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing the ball Johnson dance, <laughs> <I'm> just swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I got little girls. Man. I can't wait till they get out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm naked. That's how it is. And but so, at the same time, though. Time. At the same time, and mm. we're gonna get ready to wrap it up in just a second. At the same time. You have to see how taboo it's become because if you go back through time, you go back into your fifties and your sixties. Mm-hmm. You know, it it was not as exposed as it is. You get to the seventies and eighties, it becomes a little bit more exposed. Nineties mm. into two thousand, now it's just out there. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have as much. So you're saying it, it just keep getting more more it exposed. It keeps getting and more exposed and more exposed, and we're not. So when, having, so when we gonna get to the point where we can just walk around? Naked, naked. Bu- no. booty, <laughs> but, but, but naked. But there's so booty bucket naked. If you look at and Jamal, I think you were you were you said it or you were hitting on it. I cannot with him and his balls swinging. Balls is just swinging. You uh, seen me swinging, <laughs> girl. You really see me swinging. Balls is just a swinging. swinging. <laughs> Coming to you soon, the Wild Card Mar and that nigga musical album. Nuts been big since a kid. <laughs> All right, I don't even remember what I was going to say now. It doesn't even matter. We just wanted to give y'all a little bit of tomfoolery. Oh, you just going to give up like that? <laughs> you got to let your nuts hang. Because it can only get worse. Yeah. When your nuts hang low, do they wobble See? to the flow? Uh. They can Tell only your nuts, get can worse. Can you tell your man about? <laughs> Do your nuts hang low? I don't, low. I don't have that problem. Thanks. Appreciate you. <laughs> Do your titties hang <laughs> low? Do they wobble to the ground? <laughs> I knew his stupid self was gonna do that. Your titties hang low. Uh-uh. How low do they go? <laughs> All right. Well. Scrub the ground. Uh. Scrub the ground. Uh. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm, I'm at a loss of words for today. You know, Tom for Monday. I really can't bring them in the way I want to, cause it's their time. So as they giggle, giggle, laugh, laugh. Um, nigga, take me off you. <laughs> this nigga just realized yeah. he was on mute. Nah, I knew I was on mute, but you ain't going to try to hush me up like that. <laughs> it's Foolery Monday. I got to act, act the fool. But that's why I said I, can I can't bring back. y'all in. But we just wanted to give you guys just kind of our thoughts on a random topic. You yeah, never that was know. random as hell. It was. They we actually kind of killed like almost three topics in one. Right. Yeah. We were from Gardy B to talking about pedophilia. And, and shit and yeah. taboo with sex and that was off the rip off which the you know rip. you know if you have not seen segway perfect segway um our sex series that was like in series series one take it back take it back go back it's a three part. sexapalooza sex a three is it three i think it's four i think it's three no, it's, wait three, it's three, three episodes, but right. the no, last we, we episode has two, two parts. parts. Right. So it's a four yeah. part series. Motherfuckers was talking all kind of nasty on that. I was listen. A- shout out to KB and Heather too. Yeah, shout out to KB yeah, and listen. Heather. That, Dr. Lloyd Watson. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Appreciate you. Listen, go back pony and watch. Trumper. Yeah, the Pony Trumper. Y'all go back and watch that episode. The Pony Trumper. Is that the one where they do the. Uh, they act yeah, like, like they're the horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah BDSM. I, yeah, I seen that shit on, on Real Sex on HBO. Right. But one of the things that Hey, man, I got said. a lot of education on Real Sex HBO. <laughs> you know, when this was back in the cable where you had to flick it and shit. Flick it, flick it. Flick it. <laughs> Oh shit! You know. Is that especially the oh. nine o'clock skip to max? Oh shit! <laughs> Stay up real late, wait till mom and dad go to sleep and watch. Yeah, I know he's trying to wrap it up because I'm, <laughs> I'm getting all time. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> but he was gonna go to a whole skip other rant. <laughs> Make sure you guys have subscribed. Oh my gosh! Make sure you have gone and subscribed to. Oh, I'm the man now. now. <laughs> That's how I felt after watching that nine o'clock skin to max. I was a man now. Anyway, I don't do one that let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Black guys Bubba for Walters. watching. 
Wild Make sure you check out the website www.ioftenwonder19.com. That's where you'll find everything. <laughs> Until next time, I'm your girl Black Barbara Walters, Wild baby. Come on. Yo. And of course, that nigga Mel. Love y'all. See y'all later. Oh we yo oh, we yo oh. hey. Uh, uh, uh. Oh we yo oh, we yo oh. hey. Oh we yo oh, we yo. Oh. Hey, yeah. Oh shit, boy. Ah. Hey hey. I- Got the words. <laughs> no, yeah. <y'all. laughs> hey. Ah. Show ya. Show ya. Show ya. Yeah. Hey. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, wrap it up, nigga. Wrap it up. This nigga, wrap it up, nigga. Right, tango, tango. All right, cut it off. <laughs>